Hi everyone, welcome back to Over Eight Books. I'm Ellie and it's time for my end of the month book haul. Um, so I did really well this month and I only ended up actually buying four books in the month of May. I just had a lot that I ordered in April arrive. Um, so yes, let's talk about the ones I've got. This is kind of a small uh, section. How many books do I have here? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I have ten. That seems like a reasonable number, ignoring the fact that I did a book haul in the middle of the month. <laughs> um, so let's start with a bunch that I did order um, sort of towards the end of March, um, but took a little while to get to me, which is totally fine. Um, so QBD was having a buy one, buy, yeah, buy one, get one half price on a couple of YA books, and there was an entire trilogy that I wanted, so I got those, and then I got another one, um, to make up that sale. So the trilogy I got are these ones here. I don't know, I think it's just called the Shadow of the Fox series. Um, but it is Shadow of the Fox, which I have already read. Um, Soul of the Sword and then Night of the Dragon by Julie Kagawa. So um, I got this one as an arc from work. Uh, when it came out and then um, yeah I was waiting for the next one to come out and then I didn't read it and then the third one had come out and then I'd forgotten it so I just went ahead and bought the entire trilogy. I don't normally do this but I knew that I already liked the first book so I figured I might as well get book two and three because I know that I enjoy the plot of the series um, at least and hopefully I will enjoy the uh, books two and three. And then um, to make that up, I also got The Novice by Taryn Mathieu. Um, This is the first book in the Sumner series. I uh, have kind of been eyeing off this series for like years and years, probably like five years now. Um, and then yeah, I it was part of that and it was one of the only ones that I didn't own that was in that sort of selection that you could um, get. So I grabbed it. And yeah, I'm excited for it. And then I also, this was the whole reason I went on the QBD website. Um, and that was to get myself a copy of Jane Eyre by Charlotte Bronte. Um, I was watching the, what about the party? Uh, the TV mini series um, on Stan in April, and I just had this urge to reread Jane Eyre, um, but I have the Penguin um, hardcover cloth-bound editions and while they're really pretty and I love it, they're impossible to read from, like I just can't do it, like it's it's impossible. Um, so I wanted a paperback copy but I also wanted a nice one so I got this one from Vintage and uh, yes. I'm really excited. I don't know if I will reread this. Maybe in June. Maybe we'll have time. I'm not doing any readathons. Maybe I'll do it. Percy is sitting so like pre precariously on me right now. It's very strange. Um, okay, let's talk about the ones that I did actually buy this month. Um, the indie bookstore from uh, I guess it's kind of around the corner from my house, um, does free local delivery. So I bought a bunch of books that I wanted. So I've got three here and then I have one that's a non-fiction. So that will be in a non-fiction haul and it's looking like that's going to be like a few months away because I only have two at the moment. Um, but uh, these ones are all middle grade and uh, continuing with series. Um, so I have Otley Cola and The Withering World by Rhiannon Williams. This is the third and final book in the series. 
and the reason that I made this order because I finished book two literally like 20 minutes before this delivery arrived which was perfect um, and yes I will be picking this one up very very soon um, hopefully it's the next one that I pick up but I want to finish this one other book um, that I've been reading for a little while <laughs> first um and then yeah i continued some series um so i have starfell will and must and the forgotten tale by dominique valente this is book two in the starfell series um and this came with this really cute uh like star bookmark so that's book two and then book one is on the other side which is will and must and the lost day um that was a really cute book so i'm very excited uh for this one um, this is like filled with gorgeous illustrations um, through it. I don't know, I assume that it'll be in this one, but in the last one it had a cat in there as one of the characters. And I have this beautiful picture here of Percy being very confused by a cat illustration. <laughs> um, and then I also have Gargantus? Gargantus? Yes, <laughs> by Thomas Taylor. This is the sequel to Melamander, which I read about the same time as um, the first Starfell book. And yeah, this is another YA. Cute little bookmark again. And then book one on there. And yeah, um, there's also a cat on here. So. Yay for like cats being in middle grade fantasy so often. They just love you. He does not want to cuddle. He does not want to cuddle. <laughs> um, okay, and then we're on to the last two, which is super exciting. Um, of course, I ooh, almost dropped them all when I did that. Um, I have a subscription with. Uh, secret book stuff and uh, they send me hi hi friend um, they send me a secret book every month and this month I got The Girl on the Page by John Purcell um, this is about like a editor um, who basically uh, is sent to like go and get this manuscript from one of the authors and somehow gets like sucked into her world and her husband um and i believe he is it says uh from ultimate book industry inside of john Purcell. so i think that he probably works as an editor or something like that um but i'm super excited about this one um i've looked at it quite a few times and just not um, picked it up, I just read the first line and I was just like, okay. Was, I was sitting naked on his loo with his laptop. It was 4am and I'd only met him the night before. The question was reasonable. <laughs> so, um, yeah, I'm going to give that a go and see how we do. Um, I really want to pick that one up really soon. I'm really excited for it. Um, speaking of ones I have to pick up really soon, this is my last one. This is The Theory of Hummingbirds by Michelle Katarusman. Um, this is a very short little book and it is a middle grade, it's contemporary. Uh, I am part of the blog tour for this and this is from uh, UQP, University of Queensland Press. And um, this I'm super excited about because this is a middle grade contemporary. And it's about um, a young girl who I think has a clock foot. The back isn't super explicit about it. Um, it just says that her left foot was twisted in the wrong direction at birth. Um, and yes, I'm super excited because it's own voices and also... Um, for those of you who don't know, I was born with a clubfoot, 
and um, so yeah it's, it's basically what it sounds like it's it, your one foot or both um, is twisted in at birth and there isn't really a reason for it most of the time it's just luck of the draw um, but yes I was born with that um, it sounds very much like she has a different experience to what I did in terms of surgery um, this person mentions that it, she's been in a brace in a cast uh, for her whole life and the final one is about to come out and uh, I went down a very different route that ended much more painfully and worse off than that but <laughs> I'm really excited because um, very very rarely do you see club feet in fiction um, the only other two books I know of are Of Human Bondage, which was terrible, hated that book, would not recommend, and uh, The War That Saved My Life, which I wrote my honest thesis on, which I would recommend, that is very good. Uh, so I'm very excited to see this, uh, that one's set in the 40s, so I'm very excited to see, I believe, a more contemporary uh, example of it. It doesn't give me a year, which makes me think it's just set, like, now. So, yeah, super excited for that one. And um, I will, of course, be posting a review of that one on my blog, which I think is going up tomorrow when this video is out. So, uh, I will, yeah, I mean, my blog is linked below and I may add it. Uh, after that post is live. Um, but yeah, that's my book haul for this second half of May. I hope you're all having a wonderful day and I will see you all uh, I think on Wednesday. Um, I think that's right for my schedule, maybe. Um, <laughs> I'll see you all then with my wrap up. Why did I do that? That's weird. <laughs>